All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Avaron's Gaming. We're back on Lord of the Rings Online, and today we are on the Treebeard server, and we are playing my lore master, Malik. Um, today we're going to do Book 3, Chapter 6, Part 2, The Defense of Trestle Tree. Now, I haven't done the books for years. When I first started playing Lord of the Rings online 10 years ago, I did all the books on my first character. And one of the things I'm doing on Treebeard with this particular character, um, this lore master is, is I'm going to do all of the um, epic quests. Now, for your information, um, Treebird, Tree, Treebird, Treebeard is the new progression server, slow server uh, for Lord of the Rings online. It's a you're getting a story pace buff, which is minus 60% experience from just about everything. Okay, and you can also play on a difficulty slider. Now, I am playing on deadly difficulty. Okay, um, in the instances like this, the difficulty slider does not apply. But I still wanted to show you um, this particular instance. It's part of the um, epic story which f goes from the beginning of Lord of the Rings Online all the way to the end. It's It flows throughout um, the game. It is the heart of the game for... I, th I think that's a pretty accurate way to say it. It is... It basically, if you follow the epic quest line, it'll take you through all of the regions um, at the appropriate level and, uh, you know, tell you lots of good stories. Um, if you're into storytelling, if you're into that type of um, RPG type of game, this is the, the quest line that you want to do in Lord of the Rings Online. Okay? So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel. It gets Lord of the Rings Online out there to more people as well. And it supports me as a creator. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. So, Epic Volume 1, Book 3, The Council of the North, is basically the North Downs portion of the Epic quest line. Um, I've done some of the back work. There, there are other quests that you do to get to this point. Now, there's definitely more on book three often these books have anywhere from six to 25 chapters i think and i i think there's i don't know how many books there are and then they move to the black book of mordor it it just goes on and on anyways so we need to talk to halberin and we're about to talk to him and this quest is meant for fellowship if you choose to undertake this quest solo, you receive an inspiration bonus, but the challenge will be great. All right, so let's see if the challenge will be great. Let's talk to Halberad now. We must not delay. Are you prepared for the battle ahead? It will be a difficult one, and we will need all the warriors we can gather. Are you ready to leave? I'm ready. The little town of Trestlebridge is all that stands between the Orcs of Angmar and Breland to the south. Halbarad, Ranger of the North, gathers heroes to help defend Trestlebridge from the approaching of the Alright, let's uh, use our scrolls, eat some food. Quickly, I must have a word from... Yes, by the way, I was um, watching a movie clip from Troll. <laughs> Funny movie. Um, that's why that keeps popping up when I adjust the uh, volume. Alright, um, the orcs are nearly upon the town. Come with me quickly. You must convince Miss Boskins of the threat that is nearly upon her. Okay. Yeah. 
she's uh, not very kind. One of the guards approaches. Okay. Works of a kind I've never seen before approach. Perhaps your words were true, Halberad. Come now. Okay, to the bridge. So you gotta defend the Trestle Tree, tree Bridge, which, um, when you get to this, when you get to Trestle Bridge in the North Downs, you'll see it. it's a covered bridge. It's pretty cool. Alright, we're already on the scene. Let's go. Again, let's see if they get some aggro. AOE. Are there numbers without limit? I don't know, Nelly. But you need a heal. That's a heal over time. Okay. Look at this guy. This is the head guy, huh? The battle Lord? Alright. Here they come. <laughs> Defended Trestle Bridge. Okay. I only hope you can forgive my behavior towards you. Think nothing of it. It was my honor to aid you in this fight. I must leave you now, though, and return to Esteldon. My companions, though, shall remain behind. I must have one final word with them before I leave. Okay. We have done well this day. I am indebted to you as well for your aid. As I fear the battle would have turned against the free peoples had you not been here. I must leave now, and I hope it is not too much to ask of you to stay behind. I would ask that you ensure the Trestle Bridge remains safe through the night, then return to me in Esteldon. This was a great victory, my friend. A great victory indeed. Okay, let's finish now. Elrond has healed Frodo of his Morgul wound, and now the time has come to decide the fate of the One Ring. I can see no other path 
than that which leads to Mount Doom. Who then shall defend Eriador against the shadow of Angmar? All right, so we're now in um, Ellie ba Nellie Boskin's house. That little cutscene shows you um, where you're at in the story in relation to Frodo's journey with the ring um, to Mordor. So he's at Rivendell, and they still haven't had the council yet to determine what they're going to do. Um, so the Fellowship of the Ring hasn't even been formed at this point. Um, in Book 2, you would have gone through the Lone Lands, and you would have, that would have run in conjunction with Frodo's journey through the Lone Lands as well, I, on his journey up to Rivendell. So this was a very simple and a very straightforward instance in the epic book um, quest line. I just wanted to show it to the people on the channel. Um, not everybody has done the epic quests in Lord of the Rings Online. I do have a lot of people on my channel that play the game. Um, most many of you, I'm sure, have done it. But for the new players out there, I would highly encourage you to do the epic quests because you get pretty good rewards. What do you okay. need? So, as you can see, that's that's decent. I can't use either of these, but the epic quest rewards will always be pretty good on your level. Okay, um, you can't it's always so use them. I mean, I need to return to Hal Halbarad now. Um, I can get to him pretty quickly, so I think we'll do that and see what he says, and then wrap up the video. But it's pretty it was pretty easy not gonna lie you just saw the you just saw the fight um, I was never really in danger you get the inspiration buff now if you do it with a group of a, a fellowship you don't get the inspiration buff and it, it, it is a little tougher but you know if you have a good fellowship not that tough um, there was a time in Lord of the Rings online where you there was the only option was the fellowship um, if you played back in those days and you finished it, that's when the epic quests were really, really challenging. Um, these early epic quests, and I call the early ones as everything before Moria, are not really that hard. But I just wanted to show it to you. So let's talk to Halvarad and see what, see what he says. How can I be of service? Okay, it's good to see you again. Many thanks for your help in that battle. Without you and your companions, I, I would have surely fallen, as would Trestlebridge. It is also good to know that Nellie Boskins will come to the council. She is a fine and strong woman, and I will welcome her and her people's presence in the conflict ahead. So the context of us going to Trestle Bridge in the first place was, is there are three factions of the Free Folk here in and around Esteldin and the North Downs. You do have an elf, con elf contingent, you have dwarf contingent, and you have human contingent contingent in Trestle Bridge and Esteldin is basically a ruins and it's held by the rangers of the Dunedain um, we helped the elves they agreed to help us we helped the dwarfs they agreed to help us and Nellie Boskins of the humans needed to be convinced and we just helped her defend her town and that was enough so at any rate um, there's really not much more to say on this video. Again, the purpose of this was just to give people a taste of the epic quests, the epic quest lines, some of the things that you do in it. Um, you do get separate instances. There's a lot of them. Some of them are more challenging than others. Some of them are simpler. Some of the stories are more interesting than others. Um, this one's a pretty decent story in the North Downs. I recommend you do it. I'm only halfway through it. But I just wanted to show you that to give you a little taste of what it is. Um, if you're playing Lord of the Rings online, you should be doing the epic quest line. Anyways, thanks so much for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you again soon.